Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org recently shared some shocking blood results he received, highlighting the critical importance of supplementation when needed on a plant-based diet. Too many health educators downplay the need for some supplement use on a 100% whole food plant-based diet. There are a few nutrients that we need to be mindful of. This study found that in people following self-selected plant-based diets, especially vegan diets, Intake and status of certain nutrients was lower compared to meat-containing diets, with an increased risk of inadequacy of vitamin B12, vitamin D, omega-3, calcium, iron, zinc and iodine. Now, researchers also pointed out that meat-eaters were found to be at risk of inadequate vitamin D and calcium intake. Whilst those on plant-based diets had higher intakes of polyunsaturated fatty acids, alpha-linoleic acid, fibre, folate, vitamin E and magnesium, which were found to be at risk of inadequacy among meat-eaters. Additionally, the intake of vitamin B1, B6 and vitamin C was considerably higher, especially in vegans. So now let's hear from Dr. Greger. This clip comes from his latest Q&A linked below. I claim that everybody should be supplementing with vitamin D. No, that's not a true statement. But what about those with the right level of vitamin D? So vitamin D supplementation is only necessary for people getting inadequate sun exposure. I am a homebody. I live inside. Uh, I mean, I don't get out much because I'm so busy. It's in my front of my computer all day. Um, and so when I got my D levels tested, this is a long time ago, my vitamin D levels were those of the institutionalized elderly, meaning like people locked up in, in nursing homes who never get any sun. Well, no surprise that I didn't get any sun. Um, so I could either go outside and with skin as light as mine, get even just 10, 15 minutes on forearms and face and get enough vitamin D to last me during the day. But that's 10, 15 minutes. I could be inside working. If I take my laptop outside, the sun's rays, you know, glare off my screen. I can't be. So I'm still inside. I just supplement with vitamin D. And if you have very level of vitamin D, obviously you're getting enough. Um, otherwise, you don't need to supplement. So why were his results so concerning? Well, vitamin D deficiency has been associated with increased risk of common cancers, autoimmune diseases, hypertension and infectious diseases. This was backed up by this study. Vitamin D deficiency was found to be associated with a variety of cancers, including prostate, multiple myeloma, colorectal and breast cancer. Next, we'll discuss why you might need to seriously consider taking this vitamin at the same time as your vitamin D supplement. <laughs> 